So there is a $75 million project underway to restore and kind of reimagine the iconic Forest Theater in South Dallas. Shannon joins us live at North Park Center where there's a new exhibit exploring the history of that theater. Hey, Shannon. Good morning, Lauren. Right, so this exhibit here at North Park really gives people a chance to learn more about the theater and the plans for the future. And the perfect person to discuss that is here with us this morning, Elizabeth Watley, the CEO and founder of Forest Forward. You grew up in South Dallas. This is, this is part of you. Why was it so important for you to take on this project and to really lead this charge to revitalize the theater? Yeah, well, absolutely. South Dallas is a community that I love and is a big part of my childhood. Childhood. I grew up in the Cedar Crest neighborhood, so South Dallas was just like a back, background, backyard for me. Yeah. Um, and I was able to attend the South Dallas Cultural Center, swim at X Line, go to church. So it's always been a very important community to me. And during those interactions, the Forest Theater has always been closed, but the architecture of the space has always been beautiful and capture um, the spirit of the community. So it was very important to be able to bring that back to life for us. And we see all these black and white photos and the pictures here in this exhibit. Um, what is it about the history that really struck you as, you know, people need to know about this? Oh, wow. The history is incredible of this building. Um, the, the history of the building actually continues to connect to the future. So it's originally a Carl Hoblitzel Theater, which means we're the sisters of the Lakewood, the Inwood, and the Majestic Theater. Okay. And it was originally designed for the Jewish community, um, as South Dallas was once predominantly a Jewish community. And so after the transition of the neighborhood in South Dallas, that's actually when it began to cater to the African American community in 1956. Um, and it took on a whole, whole new life and spirit of heritage and pride um, and a community anchor and asset for the neighborhood. So what's the plan now going forward? As you said, um, it, it kind of sat dormant for a little while there. It's been used for things off and on yeah. over the years. Um, what's the plan now for the future of, of this theater? The plan is to ignite a new economic core for the South Dallas community. And we're going to do that by expanding the Forest Theater to 66,000 square feet. We're currently at 33,000 square feet. There'll be an arts education hub where you can have a podcast room, a design studio, a flex space. We're adding on a new 200-seat studio theater. The concert hall will have a 1,000 seats um, for shows, concerts, and performances, a plaza area, and my favorite amenity is the rooftop. First rooftop in South Dallas where you can see all of downtown and all of Fair Park. Um, and so we're going to be an economic impact, job creation, um, business development, and we are going to reignite the beacon that it once was. When you guys have received so much um, community support, now North Park's support as well, really wanted to partner with you guys to say, let's let more people know about this. We've seen so many uh, people here early this morning before the mall even opens who, um, you know, walk the mall daily and they're all stopping to look at this exhibit. So we'll talk a little bit more about the fundraising efforts and the community support that they've experienced with this project coming up in the next hour of Good Day. But yeah, Lauren and Brandon, just huge plans for this really iconic theater in South Dallas. So great to see what could be in the future. I love when they take the old and make it new, but right. keep the old. Like that's not easy to do. Some cities have mastered it. Dallas seems to sometimes have a hard time doing that. So I'm glad that glad to see we're working that in. Just nice. take some vision. Yeah.